Hi, hockey fans. Well, before we get proceedings underway, on behalf of all of the train at Basingstoke Bison, whether they be the off-ice officials, whether they are the backroom staff or the team themselves, do hope that you and your families are safe and well and getting through this current situation we find all of ourselves in in the very best way that we possibly can, managing to just hold things together just that little bit until we find ourselves at the end of this very dark tunnel. Now's the time where we open up proceedings for the Train Basingstoke Bison End of Season Awards. A very, very different situation we find ourselves in, in a very different scenario, whereas all plans were made for another end of season function where we gather with our friends and our family and teammates and celebrate what has been a decent season by um, no stretch of the imagination. So without further delay, let's get this season's presentations underway. A very different scenario to what we had anticipated, with the plans to make our way to the Apollo Hotel with friends and family and fellow teammates amongst us to celebrate what has been a very good season once again for the train at Basingstoke Bison. We would of course like to thank all of our friends and families and fans for the patience of standing by the stampede in these unprecedented times. So as we open up this presentation, 2019-2020, we will start with a few words from Mr. John Neville. Over to you, John. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to tonight's show. Before we start the show, I'd like to pay tribute to all those supporters that are currently working on the front line during this COVID-19 pandemic, all at the Bison, Salute you and thank you for the work that you're doing to keep the country going. To our coaches, Ash and Tosh, we've had an amazing season and you put on a great product, so thank you. To Gary, Phil and Glenn, our off-ice crew, the work you do is second to none. And again, myself, the coaches and the players, thank you for everything you do, making sure the boys are in tip-top condition every night. To the players, we've had an amazing season and thank you for that. And to all of you guys, I must thank your families for the commitment that they give to you, which you then give to us. So thank you all for all the help and support you give us. Our sponsors, once again, we have grown our sponsorship field and the support and funding that they help give the club is second to none. To the Planet Eye staff, I thank you for all the help that you've given us all during the course of the season. And to Bavi, the voice of the herd, you're instrumental in everything that we do on a match night. But during this pandemic, the work that you've been doing with your discos and the quizzes on the Bison Facebook page have been amazing and kept everybody's spirits up during our lockdown periods. So thank you. To our volunteers, which there are many, to Carol and Gary, Sharon and Nick and Nigel for all the work that they've done on the table I thank you all. To Hannah and all the Match Night crew, Claire Bannatine for organising the mascots, who are, after all are the lifeblood of the club for the future, and to Sharon Driver 
for your help with the school's programme. Again, I thank you. Our programme to Caroline, the programme editor, David, who assists Caroline with the programme, and our programme contributors, Matt, Simon, who came on board this year, and to our regular contributors, Nigel, Anthony, and Graham Mary for the Gazette. The work you do is second to none. And again, I thank you all. Where would, be we, where would we be without any away travel? Most sporters travel in the cars, but for some, we have organised travel. And Graham Piers has been instrumental in setting all that up and coordinating the work. So Graham, I thank you all for the help that you're given. Our children love going to the match night table. And Alison Wilson diligently sets that up week in, week out. And I thank you for your support. To our match night stewards, I thank you all for the help that you give us because without you guys, we wouldn't be able to have a game. Just like the, the match night crew. So again, thank you. Last summer, the Bison needed additional volunteers to help us with our draws. The 50-50 shirt off the back raffle draws are very important and the lifeblood of the club as it helps us bring in funds. There were two ladies in particular that stepped up to the plate. Angela and Marge, I thank you so much for all the help you gave us over the season and the amount of money that you raised. It was tremendous. On to our social media team. Keith, Anthony and Dan, without doubt I think everybody can agree that the content has gone up another level in the last 12 months. Without your support, this wouldn't have been possible. So thank you. To Oliver Mitchell, a youngster that we brought on this year, who helped us with all our social media tiles and graphics. I think you've done an amazing job and I thank you for the support that you've given us, the social media team. And to Mike Key, you brought back the YouTube channel. You were instrumental in doing that work and I thank you for all the support that you've given us with the highlights, goals action, and other little videos that we've used on social media. And finally, to the fans, you guys are the lifeblood of the club. Week in, week out, you're loud and proud and you support us all so well. So thank you so much for all your support. Stay safe and we hope to see you next year. And as the award presentation gets underway, full steam ahead as we move to the train Basingstoke Bison 2019-2020 Defenceman of the Year. Let's see what Bavi's up to and if he's got some clues as to who our lucky recipient is. Thanks, Darren. So here we are with another worthy winner. This time, he's put his work in this season and he is the recipient of Defenceman of the Year. Back to you, Darren. Thanks, Bav. You never know what that guy is gonna do next. But this guy is predictable. He's solid with a blue line rocket, another fan's favorite. With some outstanding shot stopping, Great numbers, he is Mr. Reliable and the winner of Defenceman of the Year for the train at Basingstoke Bison 2019-2020 season. Congratulations to Adam Jones. Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to thank Ash and Tosh for the award. Um, it's a great honor to be recognized. Uh, second of all, I'd just like to thank my teammates um, and the fans. You guys have been incredible again this year and hopefully we can do some sort of get together soon when this is all done. Thanks again. The 2019-2020 Train Basingstoke Bison Coaches Player of the Year. For a few clues, 
Let's speak to Bobby. Once again, it is Frantic Friday, part 112B. Got a few shout outs, of course, to Gangster Granny Dudley. She's been moving and grooving ever since we started these lock in sessions. Other shout outs for the Alton Massive, the Wrens, and the Harrys. Ooh, Block D in the house. And of course, the Block C Massive. That's the Hills. Um, not forgetting our junior under 13s, including a huge shout out to Isaiah Mead. Anyway, hold that thought for a second. Thanks, Darren. Well, now it's my time to give you a few clues into the next award. It's the Player of the Year Award. A real fan's favourite, not shy of a camera when it appears, really likes to milk the audience, and every now and then bends the DJ's ear. Probably a little bit too fussy. Anyway, that's enough from me now. I've got to get back to Frantic Friday. Thanks, Darren. And here we go, back with the tunes. Here we go. Oh, we are family. Do, 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 do. I got all my sisters with me. Thanks, Bav. Well, we may have been pronouncing his name wrong for a very long time. But actually, if you say plainer, it doesn't rhyme with ledge. So our recipients of the Coaches Player of the Year, if you haven't worked it out by now, we need to have a few words. Congratulations to Michael Kleiner, otherwise known as Michael Kleschner. It's Kledge the Ledge. Hello everybody, hope you're all well and healthy. I just want to say thank you to based Bison organization, Joe Neville for the hard work, coaching staff Ashen Tosh for the great coaching, staff room Gary, Phil Glenn for taking care of us, all the players, it was such a fun during the season, and all the fans that support us whole season. You can be proud you're the best in the league, no doubt. Thank you. Stay safe. Ah! Ouch! Ow! Don't hit him so hard! Oh! Ow! Raven, not so hard! Ah! Said, not so hard! Oh, that was right, that one missed. Ah! Ouch! Stop it! <sighs> right, my turn now. Ah! Hold tight. It's that time once again where I give you just a few clues for the Train Basic Stoke Bison Player of the Year. The nomination is for the player's player, one of the most valued trophies that any player could achieve. So no real clues, apart from my training regime. I'll hand you back to Darren for a few more facts and figures. Not the five hole. Thanks, Bev. Once again, I think the clues give the game away. A really outstanding character and a worthy recipient of Player's Player. Congratulations to the shot stopper himself. It's Alex Metton.
And well, well, there we go. Metum has crossed the line. We can have a goalie fight. The referees, the long day's trying to stop this out. Metum and Norday are wanting to go. The long day wanted to stop it, and now they're going to go for it. We've got a goalie fight, ladies and gentlemen. Jordan Norday, Alex Metum, and here we go. Norday and Metum are changing the punches here. Metum's got the jersey over the head. And well, the referees just up to this early on. The two of them want to carry on going. And well, how about that? Bit of a goldie fight between the two. And a little part of respect between them. I'd like to say a big thank you to all the guys on the team for voting for this award. It really means a lot to receive it. I want to say thanks to Ash and Tosh for your coaching and your leadership. I've got to say a big thank you to Dan Weather Evans, the other half of Team Goalie. His support throughout the season is, uh, is immeasurable. Uh, a massive thank you to Gary, Phil, Glenn and John for everything that they do for the team. And a big thank you to all the Off Ice Match Night volunteers as well. We couldn't play the game without you. So, massive thank you to all the fans. Take care. Stay safe. Our next award is chosen by the fans. Every fan has a perspective on the game and they do differ dramatically. But this one is the supporters' young British player. And with a depth of talent in the Bison squad, was a very, very difficult choice. Let's have a word with Bavi, see what he's got to say about this award. Oh, welcome me there, having a little snooze, enjoying this beautiful weather. So let's keep this one short and sweet. Darren will soon be announcing the Young British Player of the Year and a very, very tough category that was. Back to you, Darren, as I enjoy this beautiful weather topping up my tan. Thanks, Bav. And as I've just mentioned, a depth of talent and a very, very tough choice. He didn't complete a full season for the Stampede, coming in a little bit late, but he came in with a huge impact and some big numbers when it counted. Congratulations to Sean Norris. Hi Bison fans, Sean Norris checking in here. Um, not the best at speeches, but here we go. It's a short clip just to uh, thank you guys for the Young Brit um, of the Year Award. Um, means a lot, very grateful and love playing in front of you guys and hope to see you all guys soon. Our next award is the most improved. And when you've got bench staff like Tony Redmond and the experience of Ashley Tate, every player will have improved. And it's down to the coaching staff to choose and debate and decide who has made the biggest improvement. What's Bav got to say about this award? Oh, caught me doing another one of my lockdown jobs. Thanks, Darren. So, out here, cleaning the car, just been notified, I need to let you know about another recipient. This time, it's the most improved player of the season. Thanks, Darren, back to you. Thanks, Bavi. Well, as we mentioned, improvement in abundance, but it was that flexibility, maturity, a change in attitude, feisting when required, 
but moving to a different position, embracing it and delivering it. He is the one and only iron brew drinking, square sausage eating, north of the border, Mr. Liam Morris. Hey boys and friends, I hope you're all staying safe and enjoying the nice weather. I'm extremely grateful for this award and I'm extremely grateful for the support throughout the season. It's second to none. Keep following the social distance guidelines and the expert advice and we'll see you all when this is over. Have a good summer. Thank you for that. We're going to move on now. I've just got a few a few other um, little little questions for the fans If you now we've now we've got you. So with, uh, with lockdown, many of us have um, endured or enjoyed the time off. Um, you've got a, a, a young daughter, a Fabia. Yeah. I've got a, a few a few questions for you now. She's she's probably wasn't wouldn't even approach schooling yet. So the homeschooling is is off the agenda, or have you been involved in that in some way? Um, I don't know if I'd say schooling, but um, there's been a lot of ABCs, um, just kind of very basic stuff that three year olds do, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, it, you know, unfortunately, and I think a lot of parents have said the same thing. Screen time has probably gone gone above where it needs to or where it should be. But yeah. um, you know, needs must, and, and um, you know, everybody has to has to get through the day as best they can. At sometimes that that gives me five minutes to to do something bison related, and that's what it takes, unfortunately. So, so really, I suppose also um, some of us um, haven't had the luxury of of, um, of a haircut as you will probably see from the video. So we won't move on to the COVID cut because because uh, you you actually have a, a blessing in disguise there, really, don't you? Um, but uh, so, so other questions really from, well, from a, a, a fan's perspective now. Being locked in with your family, have you allowed your daughter to apply makeup to yourself? No, not yet. She's had a few coats of nail varnish here and there. I'm sure that's mm -hmm. going to raise a few eyebrows, but yeah, she... Um sees mummy doing it and she wants to get in on the act, which she did do. Um, but yeah, I mean, she's, it's one of those things when you when you see someone or something every single day, you don't notice the changes, but then, um, you know, when somebody else mentions it and, you know, we have, like every family at the moment, it's, it's all about FaceTime and, and um, you know, talking to, to family members and relatives and, and even, um, you know, Players who I've played with in the past, um, who live in Canada and America, we've 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 spoken to a few people, and, and you know everybody's like I say, they haven't seen her for for a while, and and, and the change is massive. So um, it's nice to see, but you know today we tied her hair back, and all of a sudden I was kind of taken aback because my my baby daughter is all kind of becoming a little girl all of a sudden. So it's um, you sit and think, where's the last three years gone? Yes, but. Um, you know, as every parent, I'm sure, has that same day of reckoning, I suppose. But mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. yeah, hopefully we're making progress and things are going the right way. Um, and you know, thankfully the weather's been great, so we've been able to open the doors and just spend the spend the days outside, which definitely helps. Good. So, other COVID jobs, painted a fence. No, have fortunately haven't. Well, I've I've been putting that one off. I I don't think it's going to get done this summer. Okay. <laughs> Decorating a room. No, still not done that. <laughs> Jet washed the patio. No, uh, no, I did wash the cars, but I've only done it once, and I thought the time taken. I'm just taking it up to the to the MO. <laughs> Tidied the garage. I did that yesterday. Yes. Fantastic. And then finally, I know you're not one for social media. Have you and your family created a TikTok video? 
No, my other half is keen. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to. If we can just get out of lockdown, I might miss miss the dodge that bullet. I hopefully. Fantastic. So, so let's go back to some bison matters now. Then, another award chosen by the fans, the supporters, the dedicated, the herd, the stampede, the wall of sound. Those who fill the stands week in, week out, support their team through thick and through thin, will stay to the final buzzer will travel the length and the breadth of the UK for their team. Before we go any further, let's have a word once again to Bavi for a few clues as to who this lucky winner is. Thanks, Darren. Well, this next one is a real tough one to choose. As a fan's favourite, you've really got to give your all. It's not just about what you bring to the ice, it's what you can deliver to the fans off of the ice. Every single one of the trained Basingstoke Bison do that. So this really is a top award to a top fella. Back to you, Darren. This award chosen by the fans, the supporters, those who fill the stands week in, week out, who will always be there right to the final buzzer, win, lose or draw. Those who wear the team colours with pride. Everybody will have a view and a perspective as to what their favourite player can bring to the squad, to their team. And it really is testament to what this individual has brought and how they are viewed by the fans. I've asked a couple for their views and their opinions on this particular player. And I quote, from Owen in Alton, He's flexible. He loves a glove save. Fantastic netty. Great at blocking the puck. Very friendly and with a beard. James from Alton and the Block D Massive. A great netminder. A genuine dude. Friendly. Lots of time for the fans. Always great in a penalty shootout. And James's favourite player. The best keeper in the league. From his teammates, he's a player with an upside down head. It is, of course, the Supporters Player of the Year 2019-2020. It's once again, Alex Metham. Hey everyone, hope you're all keeping safe and well during these difficult times. Just want to take this opportunity to say thank you to all the fans for your dedicated support. The noise and the atmosphere you guys create on a game night really does make all the difference. So thanks again for voting for me as your supporters player of the year. Really is an honour and a privilege to play for this team and, and for you guys as fans. So thanks again, take care, stay safe. So so here we are once again with the train at Basingstoke Bison end of season presentations. Slightly different take on to what most people are accustomed to. And we have the man himself here with us. So here we have the man himself, Mr. Ashley Tate, who will be announcing the forward of the year. So Ash, uh, was this a tough decision? Was it a standout player? Um, how, did you, how do you gauge uh, this um, particular individual? It, it's never easy and I think it's, it's it, it was almost without wanting to say, it kind of is the obvious choice, but um, you know, everybody has a role to play within kind of the systems and the team and you know, if you're going to be successful, everybody has to play that role and you know, certain guys come in with, your expectations are different because their jobs are going to be different and, and you want them to do their job well. Um, and, and this particular player, I think, um, you know, he's a fan favourite, wears his heart on his sleeve, 
Um, he kind of he plays in all situations. Um, he was reliable. Um, you could go to him regardless of situation. Um, you know, and he, he he did exactly as he was asked for. Uh, I was going to say for, for 30 weeks of the year, for, for <laughs> just under 30 weeks of the year. So yeah, it was. Um, it, for me, it, it's obvious, but it did choose itself in the end. I think. Um, a terrific, terrific bunch of lads out there, and we've seen a lot of a lot of youth develop. But if you would would do us the pleasure now and announce the train Basing Stoke Bison season 1920 forward of the year, and uh, that is Michael Kleiner. Fantastic. He certainly racked up the points. Um, he's not shy of uh, of a photo opportunity. We know that, and 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 again, um, we know that he's passionate as as his penalty minutes can display as well. But. But um, you know, as as, a, as an example and and somebody who who has performed game after game after game, um, what what do you think he has brought to the game for the Bison compared to the, the season previous? Maybe. Um, do you know? I don't. I, I think he, he he just he started where he left off. Really, I mean, he's like I say, you need your best players to be that, and I think in this league, you need your imports to to kind of. Uh, lead the charge. Um, you know, teams that ha their imports probably don't perform as they think they're going to. Um, you know, it hurts them. And Michael, like you said, he puts points on the board. He plays in all situations, whether it's overtime, whether it's a shootout, whether it's short-handed. Um, you know, whether it's a five-minute PK, um, he's dependable. He can go. You know, he never says no. Um, he, you know, he's he's like you say he's got that uh, relationship with the fans um, and I think the thing and I didn't really think about this till I was talking to other coaches and, and they they rate him highly um, you know so he's, he's so he can be Marmite for some people in, in some senses but um, you know when I speak to other coaches who I respect and I've known a long time and, and they tell me they you know they, they view him as a very good player and, and uh, he's a he's a, a definite um, a tribute to this club Hello again, this is how it looks like today, my lovely Slovakia, what a beautiful day. For this award I want to say thank you, big thank you to all my teammates, without them I wouldn't achieve anything. And one big special thank you to number 21 Ashley Dad. it was an honor to play with you on the ice in the one line, thank you. We heard from John Neville at the beginning. And the next award is the Alan Parrott Award. Let's go once again to Mr. John Neville. The Alan Parrott Award. This year's award goes to a gentleman who's worked for the club as a volunteer for 23 years. An amazing achievement, we all think. And for that reason, we've got something a little bit different and a little bit special for you to enjoy. So it's over to our roving reporter, Dan Weller-Evans. Hi guys, Dan here, just here to transport the Alan Parrot Outstanding Contribution Award to its next winner, so I'll be there very shortly to drop it off. Just to uh, say great thank you to everybody, there's too many people to say uh, thanks to uh, individually, it's a great honour and thank you very much. Congratulations to Glenn, you've certainly put in a few shifts for the Basingstoke Bison over those many, many seasons. But more importantly, thank you from myself and all at the Train Basingstoke Bison. The fans, the Stampede, our friends and our families for being a superstar, a key worker in times like these, where we are asked to stay at home and stay safe. You shave your beard off and head in to the danger the hot spots. You take the risks that many of us would not even contemplate taking. So once again, on behalf of all of us, thank you for your dedication, 
for your support and for your work as a key worker supporting us. Congratulations on your award, Glenn. Nobody is more worthy. Hold the line. Excuse me, sorry to be interrupted. It's John on the phone, Mr. Neville. Hello, John. Yeah, I'm well, thank you. Uh, I just wanted to discuss um, my role with the train basing Stoke Bison. Okay, so you, you've sent me a list of things that you'd like me to do this season. Um, you've added a couple of bits on there, so I just want to clarify. Playing music, yeah, that's all right, I can do that. Jump up and down occasionally and act a little bit silly. Yeah, bit enthusiastic, absolutely, can do that. Fully qualified, John. Now, the next one I'm a bit concerned about, but I'll do my best. Make sure that Nick Dudley isn't twerking in Block B. I can't guarantee, but I'll try my very best to stop that happening. Uh, make sure the speakers in Block C aren't too loud. That's going to be challenging as well, but again, I'll do my very best. Unleash Block D. Easy. That's no problem. Click, and they're gone. Every single time. Try and remember about Block S. Okay, I'll write that down. Again, I'll do my very best. Um, making sure the away fans don't mishear me. I don't know whether that's possible, because no matter what I say, they'll hear what they want anyway. But don't worry, we'll crack on like we have always done. Now, the next bit I'm a little bit worried about. You want me to do all the other bits, that's fine. But you actually want me to play. Yes, I did get new skates for Christmas. I did, yes. Yes, I can skate. Not very well, but I can skate. Can I go backwards? I can go backwards. Prefer to go forwards, but yeah, okay. So why can't I do all of the above and skate? I'm afraid to say the microphone cable won't, no, it won't reach. No, no. Okay, so how about, how about I do all of the bits that I'm used to doing, don't put me on the ice as a player, and I just announce what we planned. You'll do that? Okay, permission granted. Thank you, Mr. Neville. I'll carry on. I now have permission to announce not one, but two signings for the train Basingstoke Bison. Come on, we gotta do your signing video. Okay, one second, I don't want to do it on my own. Hang on. That's weird. He never ignores my calls. I'll do it on my own then. Hi Bison fans, really excited to be back next season. Hope you're all staying safe and we'll see you as soon as we can. Wonder what he's doing. Just waiting for lockdown to be over. Hi Bison fans, really excited to be back with the team next year. Can't wait to get back on the ice. Stay safe, take care, and we hope to see you soon. And that concludes the virtual end of season presentation for the train Basingstoke Bison. We certainly hope that you enjoyed watching and congratulations to all of our worthy winners. On behalf of all of the organisation, we can't thank you enough for your undying and unrivaled support week in, week out. We wish you, your friends and your families to remain safe, look after your loved ones, so we can be a family once again, creating that unrivaled atmosphere with the wall of sound. So on behalf of all at the train at Basingstoke Bison, thank you once again for watching. We'll see you again soon when we can reunite as the family. Till then, take care and goodbye.